all right you guys welcome back to a another becoming a nail tech with me you're gonna see a lot more of becoming a nail tech with me within the next month so i have my mannequin hand here and before i get started on anything i'm just gonna go ahead and dip my brush in some acetone because it still had a little bit of acrylic on there on the tip for some reason. I don't know what that was because now it's not there anymore. Okay. Now I'm just going to clean my brush out. And some acetone. Okay, so that's pretty clean. Now for the nails. I like to take my straight edge nail clipper so it does not have the indent in it it's just straight i'm going to clip these down as if they were nails and we were at the nail salon and we needed these to be clipped we have our nails clipped down I'm going to take one of my older files this is not one of the files that I'll be using um, when it comes to filing the nails because this one is not as rough anymore the grit is has softened up a whole lot <gasps> so we're just going to be filing these nails Guys, so we have all our nails filed down. So now we're gonna take our 180 sander band. Not 180. Oh, what sander band is that? Do you even know? Let's see. These are the sanding bands that I will be using today. And it just says a medium grit. It doesn't tell me what grit it is. We're gonna turn on our drill. And my drill is by BT Art Box. Got it off of Amazon. And I'm going to be at 5,000 RPMs. And so if you can tell, or if you cannot tell, there is an indent right here. So basically this is a practice hand. So we basically, this is like filing the cuticle, okay? And I'm just holding my pinky. And this stuff be flying. Like from this from this nail, it be flying on here. And now we're gonna go ahead and size all of the nails and I have finally have them organized. Oh my gosh, so great that I have them organized. That's gonna be too big. Most of them, so these nail tips are curved on the inside. So if you can see how much they are curved, 
this is the side of the nail and it kind of curves a little bit too much so I'm gonna take the time to um, I'm gonna take the time out and I would normally use the uh, dehydrator but I'm not gonna use this on the mannequin hand but I'm gonna take the time out to um, file the nails before I start laying down the acrylic because um, I just don't like how much it curves Alright you guys, so we have all of the nails on there. Let's pray nothing pops off. So now I'm going to go ahead and just take my sanding band again. I'm just going to go over. Don't worry about this nail. This nail's a little crooked. It don't meet sidewall to sidewall because I put it too much on this side. Anyway, we're not going to explain ourselves. We're going to just go ahead. Now we're going to try to get some of that glue down. The glue don't want to come down, but the glue is all right. I mean, not on a not on a human nail, not on a human hand. When you doing that on a human hand? Uh uh, not me filing my own nail. Come on now. When you doing that on a human hand? You don't want to do that too much, cause that's a lot of friction. Okay, just a few little bumps. Just to kind of blend that natural nail. And never keep the drill in one spot. And never keep the drill on a nail for too long. You see how I always like, just to get a nail, a breather. Because we don't want to create too much friction. All right, now it's time to get our acrylic out. So we're gonna be using this as our base color. And this is the color that I have on this nail. So we're gonna be using the medium pink. I love this color. That's a really small bead. That's a small bead. Uh -uh. Middle, tap, tap. The bead is gonna be about that big. I'm just gonna let that set a little bit. Right at the middle of the nail. And I'm gonna pat that in place first before I start to move anything down the nail. And when I move it down, I kinda wanna have it stay off the sides just to keep the coffin shape. Second bead, I'm gonna go ahead and take it again from the middle, tap twice. There's our bead again. It's pretty flat, but that's okay. And we are going to take that right above where we placed it last time.
Okay, now that we have that, nail is looking good. So now I'm gonna take the whole thing and then I'm going to drag the whole thing from the top. I'm gonna do one bead, two beads. I feel like we need two beads. And I'm gonna let that sit all the way in. It's not moving so much. I'm gonna set that as close as we can to the cuticle. And then now that I have that one, it seems a little empty right there. But yep, that's exactly what we gotta do. I'm gonna take another bead from the middle. We're gonna tap twice. And I'm gonna put that right in the middle to create our apex. I should have let that set a little bit longer, but it's all good. And this is a big nail for the pinky, of course. And so now we're onto a bigger finger. We're gonna make sure we take from the tip and let me just draw that out. Take from the tip, draw out, and then we are, I'm gonna tap three times. And that doesn't look like a three bead, three time bead. Maybe that's like a little too small. Here we go, that's a little better. And it's moving, it's definitely moving, so let's go ahead and set that down.
right, so I see that on this nail, the tip is a little light, like right there at the tip. I am just going to take a little bead, very small bead. And place it at the tip and then I'm going to dab it. Next nail.
60 seconds is up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and you guys do not mind this table. It is a hot mess. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what the nails look like up close and personal. So here are the nails. And here are some of the nails from, well, here are the nails from the side. So you can see the apex. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to comment. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you learned. Um, and yeah, we'll be back. Let me know if you guys even like these videos at all. Um, if you like these becoming a nail tech with me, because we're definitely a nail tech on the nails is giving nails okay and yeah so this yeah this is like sticky it's definitely not top coat but i'm gonna go ahead and exit off this video like comment and subscribe and i'll be back with more videos